Hello, this is a message from me to all of you, a message of thanks to everyone who's part of my JGI family, whether you're a supporter, a staff member, a volunteer of any of our 24 JGI chapters, JGI Global, Roots and Shoots, Africa programs, Chimpanzu. You're all wonderful friends who are helping us to make this a better world for everyone and everything. As we come to the end of a very strange year when we've been battling with a pandemic that's caused so much suffering and battling the effects of climate change, it's so important to celebrate the goodness and compassion that's all around us, shining through the doom and the gloom. I could write so much about the people and programs that bring me hope as I think back over the months. Your generosity helping JGI continue with our programs is one such benefit that I think about every day, thinking so gratefully of everything you're all doing to help us succeed in making the world a better place. Indeed, we've managed to carry on despite the many problems we face only because of your support and help and your belief in us and what we do and what you do and it hasn't wavered even though some of you have had to cope with your own problems. I always maintain that there are way more good people than bad on this planet and you support that belief. It's been a great source of inspiration to see how our global community of JGI staff, volunteers and supporters have come together to help heal the hurt of the past two years and work to solve the problems still facing us. It gives me such hope for the future of life on Earth. We've celebrated 60 years of research at Gombe, thanks to all of you who are part of the wonderful research teams recording the behaviour of chimps and baboons. I'm especially grateful for all the extra effort you devoted to keeping the chimps and yourselves safe from COVID-19. Then, thanks to the support we've received from around the world, many chimpanzee habitats and chimpanzees are being protected in six African countries. You are all helping us to combat wildlife trafficking, which is not only horribly cruel, but creates conditions that lead to new diseases, so-called zoonotic diseases, that are caused when pathogens, such as a virus, spill over from an animal to a human. That's how COVID-19 began. We've been able to expand our community-led conservation efforts, the Takari Method, working with local people to advance sustainable development and livelihoods and create better health and education facilities and introduce Roots and Shoots programs to the local schools. And because of this, the local communities understand that protecting the environment isn't just for wildlife, but for their own future. And so they've become our partners in conservation. I'm so very grateful to all of you working with Tokari in the team for your dedication and hard work. We continue to provide safety and the best possible care for orphan chimpanzees in our two sanctuaries in Africa. Chimponga in the Republic of the Congo began as a sanctuary for 25 chimps, most of them rescued from the illegal bushmeat trade and it's now home to more than 140, many of them now fully grown. Chimp Eden in South Africa cares for 34 chimps, many rescued from the pet trade. I still remember one arriving from Nigeria with his owner, shaved all over except on his head, dressed in a suit and smelling of expensive aftershave, honestly. I'm so, so grateful to the staff of these sanctuaries. You've had to cope with all the problems caused by the pandemic. And I'm grateful to everyone who so generously helped to offset the loss of tourist dollars and the extra costs involved in providing people with masks and time off and quarantining and everything. And I'm so glad that the Chimpanzu program, designed to encourage research and improve welfare in zoos, has been relaunched. 
This year we celebrated 30 years of our Roots and Chutes programme, which inspires hundreds and thousands of young people to work together to make the world a better place. We welcomed many new members last year from brand new JGI chapters in India and Turkey. And it's you young people who give me so much hope. Your, your dedication, determination and enthusiasm are truly inspiring. You've done so much, planted several million trees, worked on problems like climate change, single-use plastic, food waste, protecting animals and habitats, volunteering in animal shelters, raising money to help care for wildlife harmed by the terrible fires, and for people who've lost their homes in hurricanes, floods, earthquakes and for the homeless and hungry, and so much more. I applaud all of you and everyone who's helped design and implement your projects and fund them. A special thanks to all of you board members, staff and volunteers of all 24 JGI chapters and JGI Global, especially those of you who've worked so hard on the many committees such as governance, finance and Africa programs. As for me, well, at first I was frustrated when I had to stop travelling, but then with the help of my JGI team, especially those in GOOF, the global office of the founder, Virtual Jane was created. And so from my family home in the UK where I grew up and in the studio, in quotes, where I'm sitting now. I've been Zooming and Skyping and video messaging and emailing, of course, with people and organisations all around the globe. In fact, I'm told I've reached millions more in many more countries than when I was travelling. Jane's podcast, which we call Hopecast, seems to be really popular, has many viewers. The most difficult for me were the virtual lectures because you're talking for the most part to the little green camera light at the top of a laptop screen and there's no feedback from the audience and yet if you don't put the same energy and heart into the presentation you might as well not do it at all. Finally I was able to finish with my co-author The Book of Hope which has been launched in many countries and has been uh, translated already into 21 languages. I'm glad, for if we don't have hope, we're doomed, and many people have told me that the book helped them. So, as I look back on this strange year, I just feel so grateful for all of JGI's caring friends and supporters, all of you. Our work has not been easy, but we've made great progress. Let's continue working together in the new year to bring about a better future for chimpanzees, other animals, Mother Nature and all of us who call planet Earth home. Remember always that every one of us makes a difference every day. So thank you for the difference you have made. Warm wishes to you and yours from me and, of course, from Mr H. And I hope that you have pause before the beginning of next year to think about the good that's going on in the world and not be too depressed by the doom and the gloom that surrounds us in the media. I send you this message to give you hope and with love in my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.